Welcome to Koinonia Worship Replay, where your spirit, your faith will be strengthened up as the word of the Lord come through your way by his servant, Apostle Joshua Sermon. So we urge you to stay and connect your faith with him and the Lord will do wonders in your life. And we urge you to also subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification button to be notified. Why we need to contend for dominion and victory. It's not important or it's not enough to know that victory, dominion and a life indomitable is your inheritance in Christ. It's important for you to know why. Why does God insist that we win? Why does God insist that the word works in our lives? Why does God insist that we go from glory to glory? Look at the vast resources he's made available for the believer in Christ. I mean, he left no stone unturned. What exactly does he get when we win? What does he get when the saints are glorified? John 17 and verse 1. Jesus lifted up his eyes to pray, the Bible says. And here's what he said. Father, the hour is come. He said, glorify thy son. Are we still here? That thy son may glorify thee. So the way the father is glorified is when the sons are glorified. Are we together now? In theology, we call this the reflection principle. That means an object can only get glory when it reflects his image on something else outside of itself. So the glory of the sun is seen in the moon. Are we together now? The glory of a faithful man is seen in the way he adorns his wife. Are we together now? The glory of a tree is seen in the branches as they produce fruit. Not the root. The root is the invisible part. But it is the reason why fruits come. So Jesus is praying and he says, For the sake of your being glorified, he says, Glorify now thy son. When the saints are glorified, when the word works for you, when doors open for you, when you rise in your finances, when you access the anointing, when your children make progress, hear me, God is glorified. Did you hear that? The Bible says in John chapter 15 and verse 8, it says, Herein is our Father glorified. When we bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. The Father is glorified when you produce results. The Father is glorified when you bear fruit. John chapter 15 and verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. The Bible says, and ordained you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruits will remain. Hallelujah. Galatians 1.24. It says, and they glorified God in me. They glorified God in me. That when they look at the excellency of your Christian life, the excellency of your faith life, God is glorified. Hallelujah. Why does God want the saints? To walk in the reality of dominion our dominion our fruitfulness our results is how god is glorified on earth never forget this that means every time you say lord i love you it should not stop in a song your advancement is how you prove that you truly love him the manifestation of his grace in and through your life are we together now did the bible not say in matthew chapter 5 from verse 13 it says ye are the salt of the earth but if it, the salt has lost its saltiness or its savour, it says wherewith is it salty again it is good for nothing except to be thrown down and to be trampled under foot of men then it says you are the light of the world you are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden it says neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel but that they put it on a candlestick and it gives light to everyone in the room verse 16 now says let your light the word let means permit do not restrict do not restrain let your light so shine not before angels not before spirits before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father which is in heaven do you believe that so god is glorified when the saints excel you must believe this if you do not have a correct orientation for your desiring money increase anointing you will end up in carnality and that which should bless you ends up becoming a curse purpose is what gives value to pursuit purpose is what gives value to purpose to pursuit that everything you seek you must know why are we together why does god want to see your children do well why does God want to see you get a job? Why does God want to see the barren with children? Why does God want to see the downcast restored? Why does God want to see the sick healed? Why does God want to see an ordinary backsliding believer become a cutting edge firebrand believer? What is God really looking for? Glory. Glory. In your rising is God's glory manifest on earth. In your shining is God's glory manifest on earth. In your children excelling. Are we together now? In your having access to the resources that allow you to live a life of meaning and dignity. In your being anointed in ever increasing dimension. Doing much for the kingdom. God is glorified. 
Someone shall be glorified through my life. One more time, shout it. Say, be glorified through my life. So God desires that we produce results so that number one, he can be glorified upon the earth. Number two, the second reason why God insists, I'm laying a few foundations because this will be important for what I really want to begin to talk about tonight. Our victorious and fruitful living. This is the second reason why God insists that we walk in dominion and victory. Number one, I told you that our dominion, fruitfulness and results is how God is glorified on earth. And then number two, that our victorious and fruitful living draws many to Jesus. Draws many to Jesus. Draws many to Jesus. In the manifestation of God's goodness in your life is capacity to draw many to Jesus. Are we together now? John chapter 20 now and verse 30 and 31. The Bible makes a very profound statement. It says many other miracles did Jesus in the presence of his disciples which were not written or recorded in this book. The next verse says but these are recorded. Is that in your Bible? That you may believe that Jesus is the son of God and that in believing you may have life through his name. So your results not only cause men to see the glory of God, it draws men to desire the living Christ who has produced that glory in your life. Listen, there is nothing I know that compels men to righteousness like genuine God-inspired results. Are we together now? You can see a believer who becomes such an enviable portrait of a Christian. He will want you to, he will compel you to want to be a Christian too. Why does God insist that we win? Because through the efficiency of our witness, it will draw many to Jesus. John chapter 1, 6 and 7. There was a man, the Bible says, are we still together? There was a man sent from God. The Bible says his name was John. Then verse 7 says the same came for a witness to bear witness to the light or of the light that men through his witness might believe. Through the witness of John, through the witness of Joshua Selman, through the witness of every member of the Gateway Church and the many who have come, many, not few, many, he wants many to believe. That someone looks at your life and in the midst of a harsh economy you are still giving and the person comes to say, how are you doing it? And you say, I have found something called the favor of God. There is such a thing as that. Hallelujah. I hope you know that results are also evangelists. There is a sermon they preach and there is an audience that listens to them. Your result is an evangelist. Hallelujah. So the next time you see your pastor speaking over your life and insisting that you win, it is beyond just Pentecostal activities. It's beyond just charismatism. He is bearing witness with the desire of the spirit to see and insist that you walk in the reality of dominion for these reasons. One, that Jesus be glorified through your life. Number two, that the efficiency of your results and your witness can draw many to Jesus. If you understand this so far, shout amen. Yeah. The meaning of that is that anything that threatens your result must come under attack this night. Anything at all threatens your result, threatens your rising, your shining, your becoming, threatens your life, the manifestation of God's glory. In the name of Jesus, it must be judged tonight. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. Prophesy, say, You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. Let me speak over someone that by the end of this conference, in the name of the Lord Jesus, by reason of what my God would have done in your life, men will look at you, they will marvel and wonder at the hand of God over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. For someone God is eroding from your life, everything that looks like shame and reproach, everything that looks like shame and reproach it must bow tonight in the name of jesus please be seated you're my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory 
the lifter up of my hands. My glory, the lifter up of my hands. So it is God's desire for us to walk in victory, in power and dominion. And the reason is to bring glory to Jesus and to draw many to him.